Attention gamers, previously on my hardcore WoW journey to 60 I reached a level that only 3% of players get to without dying which left me feeling lonely, so I simped for a thick chick NPC that was mid at best who led me on and left me feeling inferior. Wait until you are a bit stronger So I sought out to prove my manlyhood by slaying bald sunburnt diabetics bossing around horde players and drinking tomato soup out of the deadliest cauldrons on the continent with some close calls. Tragedy then struck our guild as our best player my rival slash dad died and the world was now relying on me to avenge him. My <laughs> lot. Rival slash it turns dad. out these zombie abusers aren't just walking around and there's a series of sweaty sexless steps that a level 60 has to do just to summon one so my plans to get myself and others killed would have to wait until later as I had other things to do first, like film my music video to promote my new mouse pads. <laughs> this one's for all the dead homies out there going again. Let's get it, you just died for the 7th time in Hillsprad. You could blame Miz but you know you just need a new mouse pad. But the market's just filled with trash quality you would vendor. So I made my own it's best for every race class and gender. The design is so fine with my very famous swine. The material is imperial it's sick like bacterial. My art supports artists, none of that AI shit. After all they work the hardest, they deserve to get their split. Now to those who've asked how to support me as a streamer. The best way is to rub your mouse on Stitch's femur. You'll never need an upgrade cause this shit is overpowered. And now, each and every one of you can slash that Pat Howard. Hand? I think so. This type of quality will sell fast no doubt. It's a one-time sale so buy one before they're sold out. And for the few remaining League of Legends users, I added one design for you hard stuck losers. Rab out. <laughs> As I got Dude, closer I'm to level 60 it. some events in my past started to come full circle. Turns out testing every soup kitchen in the Plaguelands had me walking around like Goldilocks was my bitch and there was no such thing as a pot I wasn't gonna risk my life to drink out of but it turns out these man bear pigs have a social aggro range on par with Taylor Swift so I had to take them out Rab the rapper style. <laughs> I then had to visit my bitch of an internet gf that used me in the past so I gave that hoe some of my mystery goo which to no surprise made her want me as she promised she would change if I did one last thing for her. Which turned out to be another one of these where's fucking Waldo Golden Goose chases through Carmen Sandiego's taint escort quest oh but my unlike God. my failures in the basin of Arathi, I actually found the male men this time. And while I told her some bullshit lie about how I took them out for her I actually made a deal with them behind her back so that the next time she starts her breakup speech I do think it's best that we put a stop to it before it gets out of hand Her heart will be the one that's literally broken you ha 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 Until those albino pigs pussied out at the last minute <laughs> Anyways one of Shrek's turds with too much makeup on told me her friend showed her a video about two girls and a cup and now she wants to get back at them for not being able to eat ice cream out of a martini glass without dry heaving and while I wanted to be like wow nice first world problems bitch I needed the experience so I agreed to let my brain rot in a cave asking these abominable snowmen if they can pretend that pristine horns actually exist in this game. I got so bored that I let some dementia ridden papa soda fan account talk my head off to pass the time. Until 6 birthdays later I got the loot he said this and I deemed it time to outplay that mechanic. I give Shrek's little bastard her grocery list and she was like dank now prepare for the craziest prank on these fucks you've ever seen and then I quote Come back and tell me what happened. Turns out these reactions were more flaccid than a Viagra addicted dick and while I was thinking this was hardly payback for making this Botox toddler watch two girls one cup I am not one to lie so I told her the reactions were lame but I said it's okay if she lets her dreams of being a prankster die at least she can blame 80% of that death on Ms. Kiff. No! Anyways my guide was now telling me to abandon my next quest and I was about to until I saw who would find out if I quit so for some reason I felt the urge to not abandon it. <laughs> Turns out the parental controls on rested XP were just looking out for my well-being as a level 59 boss elite with two patrolling butt buddies is just a death clip marinating in dumb decisions but that basic bitch Donovan needed to know what she was missing out on. <laughs>
Jesus. But then this cat caught my attention. <laughs> Bombay. Inventory is full. <laughs> And it all added up when I littered a damn love letter off dead Captain Cucksuck's corpse. She acting distant with me all this time was because she was seeing someone. His army pulling back from our arrangements to murder her suddenly made sense. She was cheating on me and now I'd finally get my closure by telling her good luck sucking a dead man's dick you little thick muppet. But there comes a time in every man's life where it's time to grow up and start acting like an adult. So I decided to spend the next three hours of my life playing hide and go seek with a bunch of people on a video game and the rules were simple. This is the lowest roll is our first seeker. Everyone type it now. Go for Are you it. Are serious? Rav okay, rolled a two. two. Oh. I think it's actually Rav. And if you think for a second that Rav the Avatar isn't also the LeBron James of hide and seek, I've got news for you. <laughs> Get out of not move wherever you are. That's hilarious. Uh, Dan the 362. Super, you're out. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go under there. And okay. then... <laughs> the point. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's fucked up! Uh, Rav has been seeking for two minutes now. Let's make a deal, let's make a deal! No, no! Oh my god! That's so sick. Damn. Yes, I found 40 people in under three minutes. They were so impressed that someone even gave me 50 gold by the end. And just to show how hard this was, Annie was taking so long as the seeker in round two, Papa Soda, had to say this. We're going to have to somehow speed this up because we are cutting into the scavenger hunt time at this point. But in her defense, it's because I was just as much of a giga chat on the hiding side as I went nuts to butts pixel orgy with my doppelganger NPC to the point where anyone would think us two are one and it's just typical classic WoW code at work. But I also had Howard playing mind games with her. Now, that's... Wait, is that Howard? Is yeah, Howard? I pet Howard. It's about that... her. Howard. That's <laughs> Howard. It's about her. Howard, you're out. Yeah, yeah, Howard, Howard dismiss, dismiss Howard. And when she went inside, she clearly didn't find me because all she would see is this. <laughs> well, we're, I mean, okay, Howard, you're going to gonna have to tell me True. who is your owner. That's hilarious. Just sniff in that direction. Oh, this way? Oh, what? He disappeared. Was never real. <laughs> Whoa, he's it's invisible. He's been tripping on LSD the entire time. Just so you know. 20 minutes later. <laughs> oh, shit. Howard. About Howard's back. back. Howard's, Howard's back. Too. Howard's uh, gone again? I was one of only two people left, and even though my Howard mind games would lead her right to me, I was perfectly hidden, until this NPC decided to take his first fucking steps in the history of his existence just to blow my cover. <laughs> uh, there's no way, there's no way. No way. <laughs> Wait. You gotta click him. I can't, em. yeah, no. I'm trying. Who is it? <laughs> Who do you think? That has to be Rav. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> click off of him. Oh, oh my god. The foxes. <laughs> oh, you had him, you had him. Who was it? You got it. You got it. Who was that? Back up. Oh. Rav, you're out. Oh my god. Crazy. That was good. Yeah. Oh, what a my. play. Howard, thank you. It was nice to be a good boy. As you were walking up there, Rav was like, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs>now you're probably wondering how I got here. You see I learned that the original hardcore add-on has a bunch of challenges where you have to defeat certain bosses or quests before certain levels to not just beat hardcore but obtain big dick status and there are apparently only two that stud muffins like myself are required to do before 60. The first one I unknowingly accomplished when I killed the polar bear pegging my XGF which left just death class. The final achievement in hardcore that kills many level 59s trying to achieve such a feat. So I was going to do it butt-ass naked. 
The first step was to take this big bug and his erect tail boner on a walk away from his little honey hive and those simps then you are probably thinking I just kited him with cheetah all the way to town where I would make some underappreciated city guard do my hardcore achievement for me. But I'm the avatar so I chose to naked RP walk instead. Until those pincers got way too close to my puckered ass cheeks so I turned Howard in to give me a little space and you're probably thinking I learned my lesson and will just kill him off but who would I be if it weren't for soloing the most deadly hardcore achievement with my scrotum flailing in the wind RP walking away from a boss that can one shot me so I generously let him clear his bucket list item of making a short new dwarf jump just before passing away and with that, all the challenges I needed to accomplish before 60 were over and there was only one more thing on my mind. Benching. Yeah, pulled another mod. Ow. Resist. My research on avenging this death consisted of me asking a random gear to the tits hunter how I can make big fire boys spawn to which she wrote me an entire PhD dissertation to which I was like hey let's test run this bitch together but I clearly didn't know what I was dealing with. Both of them are doing it and she's still almost dying. And this guy's not even close to being dead. Oh man. Power down. And they're running. So after almost getting another player killed I realized some battles are not meant for Rav the Avatar. And Ompi's death wasn't mine to avenge. Without Ompi himself by my side. So with one kill away from level 60, we sought out to character. make history. Oh god. <laughs> this is a fucking uh oh bro. <laughs> oh no. We got a geomancer in the mix. This is exactly what happened to Hunter Dad. Wow, is that level 60? Wow, level 60! And some may say this was a poetic ending, to an epic journey, and to that I just want to say, we're just getting started. <laughs>